Wix Dynamic Pages Tutorial 2023 for Beginners. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. I bring you back with yet another video and in this video we're going to be talking about how we're going to be making dynamic pages for ourselves in the easiest, most simplest way possible using Wix, okay? And we're going to be talking about this in great depth and detail and we're going to be going into some uh, really uh great you know designs and uh, really great features are going to be shown so please do make sure to fully watch this video till the end to get the full gist of how these features actually work so yeah without further ado let's get straight into the video so first of all obviously you're going to want to have a fully accessible wix site okay as you can see i have my wix dashboard open right here now to start things off, what I am going to be doing is I'm going to go right ahead into design site. Now, once I go into design site, what it's going to do is it's obviously going to bring me to the Wix website editor. And here we're going to have to, you know, add a few things into our Wix editor. Okay, there's some uh, few external integrated applications that we're going to want to add to, you know, actually make dynamic pages. And uh, the reason for that is because they dynamically combine your media and what that does is it makes dynamic layout columns on your page so as you can see here's my uh, website design opened up now to start my work on this what I am gonna be doing is I'm gonna go ahead into this section here which says CMS okay now normally CMS is gonna be here for you but if it's not here do not worry just come here, write search, and once you write search, you're gonna write in dynamic. And once you write in dynamic, it's gonna bring you here. So you're gonna click on CMS presets. And once you click on the CMS presets, obviously it's gonna give you all that. So obviously you can either go with this or you can just go ahead and write content. And it's gonna give you all these things like content collection, data set, and all this and what this will do is it will allow you to add your cms okay your cms is basically the integratory app that i'm asking you to download uh and it's downloaded from the wix store obviously there's no external place that you need to download this from so once your cms is added as you can see over here what's going to happen from here is that you're going to go ahead and start working with the cms so you're going to come here and we're going to actually start with a preset so i'm going to click on add a preset and once you click on add a preset, as you can see, you have all these different types of layouts. And many of these layouts have many different types of information, many different types of designs, and they look terrific. Like you can also, you don't necessarily need to just go ahead and directly add it. You can get their info and stuff as well. But, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and straightly add it. I'm going to go with the team one. Okay, this one looks pretty nice. So I'm going to go with this. And once this happens, as you can see, it says creating pages and all, and uh, we're just going to wait for it to load everything in. And uh, as you can see, once it's loaded, it's going to bring us to the basic CMS uh, dashboard over here. And things are going to open up like this. Okay, they're going to look somewhat like this, and you're going to get all these things. Okay, so this is your basic, you could say, template of things. Okay, so Brian Chung, Ashley Emerson, Brad Kiko. These are the names, these are your photos, these are your job titles, your short descriptions, your long descriptions, website, email, and phone number. Now, as you can see, you get all these things um, made out, and uh, it's really great stuff because you can also go ahead and add your very own item. So if I click on add item, I can first of all add my own name. So let's say I'm going to go with myself. Okay, so John Leahy okay and then obviously you can add an image you can just go ahead and upload an image from your computer or any other place that you have okay it depends on uh, you know whatever type of image you're looking for you can just choose it off of google if you want to uh, there's many po custom possibilities for this to happen so to add your photo just uh, click on it and as you can see it starts adding it onto your um media profile now once the photos and everything are added what's going to happen from there look at that uploaded so you can obviously crop it if you want to you could edit it if you want to but i'm just going to go ahead and click on add to item 
And there's, you know, job titles and all, paragraphs and everything. So you can add whatever information you want and then just save it. And as you can see, my job title setter is blank right now, but obviously you can go in and fill it in by clicking on open. Then moving on, you can also add more fields, okay? So just come to the right-hand side over here, click on add field, and you can add a field for yourself, okay? So as you can see, there's different field types. So let's say I'm gonna add a field type. Let's go with Boolean, yeah. Boolean is basically right or wrong, true or false. Now, in Boolean's case that we've just selected right now, obviously choose the field type, then you can choose a field name, you know, uh, let's call it availability, okay? so this is if someone is not available so obviously you can add some help text you know those uh texts that are unblanked and stuff and once you do that you're going to click on save and as you can see you've added a field availability and then obviously you can go ahead and let's say if this person is available you can take this if this is not uh, you can keep those unticked so you get the point pretty great stuff and uh, once you've done this as you can see, it tells you that your all your changes are being saved, like none of your changes are, you know, not saved. So once this is done, all you're going to do is just back out of this. OK, now just click this back out and look at this. You have all these dynamically, you know, uh, columns and layers and sections, and it's really amazing and really great stuff. It gives you a whole dynamic layout. Like as you can see, I've added myself over here as well, John Leahy, Brian Chung, and everything. And it's really great stuff. And then you can also mess around with the different things in it. So as you can see, you have the different layouts. Like you can uh, choose the stretched screen or the paid screen. Then you can add background scroll effects. You can also connect it to your CMS. You can connect strips. So you know, you can create new data sets, connect one data set to the other data set. Okay. And there's other collections as well. So if I were to go in CMS, obviously this is one of the sets. Okay. So if I were to go in collections, I can create a collection for myself as well. So let's say I'm just going to name it a random thing. Let's add multiple items, click on create. And once you click on create, as you can see, it opens up as so. And it gives you all these things. So let's say you want to add field. Look at that it's field type, Boolean number, etc. So let's say I'm going to go with date. Okay. And then you can just save it. Okay. And uh, if someone wants, they can add their dates in there, etc. If they want to, you can also edit some certain fields if you want to. So let's say I don't want this to be text. So I can change it to whatever I want. And it becomes your primary field, which is also a pretty, you know, fun and useful tool. So obviously, once you've made a tab for yourself, you're going to close it. And look at that. I've added this custom thing over here that I can obviously add in my current main CMS. And we can obviously also change the layouts of these. Like there's, it's not vital to keep this layout that you have over here. So obviously you can make new layout sections if you want to. So let's say I'm going to add a section. And uh, once you add a section, what that does is it allows you to have different types of uh, layout options. And once you're like done with all that, you're going to come back to your CMS. OK, you're going to go in your collections and let's say you want to go with whatever um, collection you want. So. Let's say I'm going to go with my contacts one. I'm going to click on these three dots and you're going to click on add dynamic page. OK, so you can go with whatever one you want or you can go with this one. OK, team one is the one that I've created right now. So let's go here. I'm going to click on add dynamic page. As you can see, it loads you in over here. It says connect a collection to your dynamic page. So obviously I've chosen team one, the one that I just made with my name in it. And you can choose different pages. OK, what kind of dynamic page do you want to add? OK, it could be a list page, item page, blank page. I prefer a list page, so I'm going to click on list page and let's click on add item and let's actually see what we get. And look at this. This is what we get. This is how it's going to look. And there you go. That's a dynamic page for you. And you can obviously edit it around later on, as you can see over here. You can manage content, you can manage the settings and all, and it's really great and incredible stuff to work with. So yeah, 
That is how you're going to create a dynamic page on Wix in 2023 in the easiest, most simplest way possible. Thank you for watching till the, this video till the end. Like us and, and subscribe, and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.